Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have this smoked out winged liner look which is inspired by Valentine's Day. And the first thing I always do is prime my eyelids and I'll be using my eyeshadow guards from Anytude just because this will make it so much more easier to create this eye look. I apply them like right below my eyelids. Then I'm going to use the Colourpop Give It To Me Straight eyeshadow palette and I'm going to start with this light peachy brown shade. Once I started blending this in my crease, I realized, wait, it's much smarter for me to first apply a light shade over the eyelid. So I just quit with what I was doing and I applied this light shade all over my eyelid first. And now I'm going back in with the light brown peachy shade and I'm going to continue what I was doing. I'm just going to blend it all over in my crease, going back and forth from the inner corner to the outer corner. And the brush that I'm using is a blending brush from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's one of my favorite brushes for blending in my crease. It's just like the perfect size. Then I'm going in with this gorgeous burgundy reddish shade and I'm going to blend it all around my lash line. So I also want to quickly apologize for not uploading a extra video this week. Normally I always upload a video every three days. I just want to try to like upload as often as possible, but also keep a few days in between to like kind of get my videos to catch more views if that makes sense but I'm going through some personal stuff at this moment and I don't really want to go into detail but hopefully I can tell you back guys more about this later but it's just have been like a very stressful time and yeah it's kind of annoying so I didn't really felt like filming and especially because I cry a lot you know so my eyes were like very swollen so I hope you guys understand and I will tell you guys more about this later because hopefully I can kind of help some of you to like how to deal with a situation like this. But before that I first had to find out how to deal with this myself of course. But yeah, I want to apologize but I will try to upload more this week. So I blended out the line with some of a warm orangey shade. Now to darken it up I'm going back in with this dark brown shade. Blending this around the lash line and with this eye look I just felt like you just need to slowly make it more darker and darker. So this palette didn't contain a black eyeshadow so I used this Trimony eye palette from The Balm. Which is the most blackest black eyeshadow ever and I'm going to use it around my lash line as well just to make it more dark. And if you find it too dark you can always go back in with a lighter shade again and blend around the edges to make it softer. I always feel like if the edges are too harsh, go back in with a lighter shade. Um, yeah, I always kind of go back and forth with light and dark shades. So now I picked up this brown shade, blending this around the edges to get more of a gradient effect. And that's what I meant with like going back in with a lighter shade. So now I'm going back in with the Inglot Jaw Eyeliner and applying this like right above that shadow guard. Um, because I felt like eyeliner is even more black and then to blend it out I'm going back in with the black eyeshadow from the De Balm palette and I have a video which is kind of similar It's also a smoked out winged liner, but I used more warm brown shades I will link it down in the video if you want to see a different version of this eye look But just for Valentine's Day I wanted to use more burgundy shades to give it a different twist now for my concealer, I'll be using the Tarte Cosmetics Shape Tape. I didn't apply concealer underneath my uh, eyes yet because I knew I was going to use a shadow guard and most of the time it kind of rips off my um, concealer. So I wanted to do it afterwards. Then also right underneath that line, I'm going to clean it up. So even though I used a shadow guard, I feel like concealer always makes a huge difference. And for this, I used a concealer brush and then I'm blending around the edges using my fingers. Then I'm using the black eyeshadow again, using a flat diviner brush and I'm going to softly press this underneath my low lash line and I'm going to the middle part. So I'm not going all the way to the inner corner, I stop like right at the middle part. Then to blend this out, I'm going back in with that pretty burgundy reddish shade and I'm going to blend right below using a pencil brush, going back and forth with my brush and I just continue to do this until I feel like the black is well blended out with the red shade. Then I'm going in with this warm orangey brown shade and blending it a bit more towards my inner corner area. And you can also blend it right below that where you applied the black. Just see what works best for you. Then I'm going to use the new Benefit mascara which is my current favorite. 
I know everyone is saying this is the best mascara, but for me, I really like it. I have to say on my upper lashes, I used a different mascara because I'm going to use fake eyelashes. So I don't want my upper lashes to be too long. I just want like a thin coat of mascara, but I do want my lower lashes to be as long as possible. So they match with my fake eyelashes because these are going to be very dramatic. And I do have like long lashes for myself, at least only at my upper lashes. So they're always quite long, but with this mascara, I just noticed they are even longer and it didn't really take me a lot of effort to get them this long. So yeah, I'm obsessed. I really like this mascara. I just wanted to show you my opinion. And then for my lashes, I'm going to use my Anytude Sassy Lashes, which are very dramatic. And I just feel like they are very sexy and I just wanted to have something that matches with this eye look. So that's the eye look and then I'm going to apply some MAC Fascinating Eye Pencil which is just a simple white pencil. But I forgot to do this, I would recommend to do this before applying mascara because the pencil can come like touch your mascara which is annoying. But yeah, this is the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoy watching this video. Let me know in the comments what kind of eye looks you want to see next. I don't really have a lot of inspiration to be honest. But let me know if there are any colors you want me to use or any specific palettes. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. That would be really sweet and helpful for my YouTube channel. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys! <laughs>